Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to handle the drop down using the WebDriver API commands. Handling drop down is a little bit tricky when compared to other web elements, but if you know how to handle this, then rest of handling web elements is nothing. These are all the methods we are going to learn whether the drop down is displayed or not enabled or not and to select the drop down using three methods by using visible text by index and by value and this is a sample test case let me explain the requirement in the application once we navigate to the demo qa website for country drop down we are going to validate whether it is displayed or not it is enabled or not and going to select a value from this list using all the three methods we will code for this scenario before that inspect this web element when you inspect it you can see we have the id locator and the value is drop down 7 just copy it paste it so we have created a class validating drop down and then a new instance for a Firefox driver maximizing the browser then launching the required URL after this the first step you are creating the instance web element a meaningful naming convention for the variables country drop down equal to driver dot find elements by dot id the id value is drop down underscore 7 import the necessary web elements package now we can use this variable wherever we want the next step is to verify whether the country drop down list is displayed or not same like all the example if country drop down dot is displayed the output message is country drop down is displayed else the country drop down is not displayed after this the next step is to verify whether the country drop down list is enabled if country drop down is enabled you have to pass a message the drop down is enabled else condition the drop down is not enabled the next step is to select the items from the drop down this is little bit tricky one you have to remember new syntax for that we have to create the select object select then a new variable i am giving select drop down equal to new select then this one you have to pass it inside this import all the select libraries in previous videos and all it is just one web element so we no need to worry about it directly we can use it here it is a single element having multiple select values we have to create a select object then only we can able to access every value inside the list once you are done with this the next step is very easier you have to remember only this piece of code then drop down dot select we have all the three select index value visible text first we will execute for the visible text this should be exactly same what it is displayed in the application i am going with india now we will execute and see just run it browser is launched navigating to the url then it will verify whether the drop down is played or not enabled or not if it is enabled the value will be selected as India you can see the value is changed we'll see the results file country drop down is displayed and it is enabled value is also selected now the same example this we will comment it will select with index value drop down dot select by index here we have to give the index value how to choose the index value in the application just inspect this for the drop down if we see here all the values will be displayed under the select we have three things one is select by visible text we have to give the visible text how it is available 
and second one is by index the index value start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if I give the value 7 it will select Argentina and the third one is select by value we have to give exactly this value then only it will select if I give 7 it should select Argentina we'll run and see how it works it is navigated to the URL you can see here the value changed to Argentina the results are displayed the third one is select by value drop down dot select by value the value means exactly we have to give this value Japan I am giving the value Japan within the code you have to give now run it it is navigated to the URL it will validate the country drop down list the value is selected as Japan and uh, the results are displayed hope you understood how to use all these three methods mostly we will be using select by visible text the things to remember here is select by visible text directly the text which is visible in the application the index value will start with 0 and uh, select by value is nothing but the value which is given by the developer which you have to inspect and find it. That's the end of today's session. In case of any clarification, please post your queries in the comment or mail me. And don't forget to subscribe to get the notification for new video uploads. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.